massive body, well-developed musculature, great strength. Have you ever wondered how gorillas that don't eat meat manage to maintain such perfect shape? Maybe they have some secret tricks. Let's figure it out. This is Smart Pizza, and in this episode, you'll learn the most interesting facts from the life of very muscular apes. Let's go! One of these significant factors influencing the powerful punch of the gorilla is the length of the animal's arms. In addition, gorillas have dense muscle mass. It's four times higher than that of professional fighters. And I've not yet talked about their movement speed which can exceed 25 miles per hour. And if you don't understand, I'm talking about the speed of running on the ground. But they also move no worse by clinging to vines. Why do they need such speed? I don't know myself. Probably to save time, a huge amount of which they spend looking for food. Did you know that gorillas are herbivorous animals? It's not easy to find thickets of your favorite plant in such a huge area of the wild. And they need a lot of plants. A gorilla weighs, on average, 330 to 440 pounds. Despite their impressive appearance, gorillas have a very calm disposition. Most often, this animal chews food for a long time, watching the rest of the family out of the corner of its eye. The little apes are very active, constantly playing, but they don't make much noise. And just as I was about to say that gorillas themselves are often calm, I suddenly came across this video. You know, it's a classic. But don't think I'm fooling you. Absolutely not. In fact, this is how gorillas demonstrate their power and superiority over other living creatures. In their family, it's customary to constantly fight for the right to be the dominant male, the one around which all females will walk, as well as the one which will listen to every member of the family. It made me wonder why the gorilla decided to show off in front of a human. Did it think that uprooting trees wasn't enough? Oh, wait, you don't know? Well-known naturalists during their travels in Africa have repeatedly noticed how gorillas easily uproot medium-sized trees. According to ecologists, gorillas can easily lift an object weighing 880 pounds. For comparison, you can look at weightlifters. In the exercise called clean and jerk, the athlete lifts the barbell upwards in several stages. I remember that back in 2019, one of the athletes managed to lift 582 pounds in the clean and jerk. But if the animal did the same exercise, it would easily defeat a man who's been doing sports all his life. In general, the life of gorillas can only be envied in some respects. They're incredibly strong from birth, and this is despite the fact that they can calmly lie and fool around for 10 hours a day continuously, then eat for a few hours and lie down again. Even in captivity, they remain remarkably healthy and slim at such low levels of physical activity. It's extremely rare for gorillas to have heart disease or diabetes. You know, it seems to me that another disease is much more common in these apes. Irritation with people. We constantly come to look at them, annoy them, stare at them through the safety glass and take pictures. Imagine yourself in the shoes of the poor animal. Would you enjoy that? I don't think they like it at all. No wonder they sometimes lose their nerve and strike in a sneaky way. Fortunately for the human, the blow was struck on the glass oh and it God. didn't even crack. But this behavior should indicate that the primate does not like this company. Speaking of what they like, remember when I told you they love grass? Well, don't you think it's strange that by eating grass alone, gorillas build up such big muscles? They actually get the building material for their biceps and triceps from protein, or more specifically, from the scrambled eggs they cook for themselves every morning. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. What scrambled eggs? In fact, nature has given them a special mechanism that allows them to get the most out of grass. Gorillas digest cellulose. There are proteins in plants, though to a lesser extent, but the human digestive system digests them much worse. And in general, gorillas eat not only fruit, but also strong bamboo. And sometimes they don't mind eating insects and their larvae, which are also rich in protein. What the hell do you think you are? Fortunately for the animals, their lives are not as boring as you might think. You'd think all they do is sit around eating grass and sleep the rest of the time. Now, some would think that they're very stupid apes, and they'd be wrong about that. In fact, gorillas are one of the few creatures that can surprise us with their mental abilities. For example, scientists have found that gorillas have great logic. They quickly find cause and effect relationships and draw the right conclusions from them. 
The famous gorilla Coco used logic to identify patterns between pictures, their meaning and sign language. Gorillas also memorized the reaction of their relatives to their own actions, becoming more cautious. It's also been observed that every night before going to bed, the big ape changes its bedding. It also culturally stores leaves and grass from the previous night in separate places. Oh yeah, all these leaves with grass that they find for use in everyday life are usually of the same color that they like the most. Some primates favor yellow leaves, others like green ones. It's been observed that if possible, they try to observe the monotony of the colors of their finds. One can call gorillas as perfectionists. They're also very strict in a good way. From an early age, they teach the younger generation to respect their elders and proper behavior. If someone gets very rowdy and disturbs the peace, gorillas will give it a spanking so that it will not happen again. Surprisingly, the bully ape will learn this lesson in no time and will obey everybody. But it's their strength of performance that surprises me the most. It's just abnormal, isn't it? People build them some swings or something remotely similar to them, and the apes just tear them off in one fell swoop, so easily and effortlessly, as if it were not a swing at all but a leaf on a tree. Gymnastic At the same time, gorillas do not have stupid strength, which is contained only in their mass. They have a balanced development, thanks to which, even as heavyweights, the apes manage to climb trees and do it quite well. The thing they do for a tasty and fresh portion of plants. Nevertheless, they do not like this process. Because of their large size and big muscles, these primates are quite clumsy and are not able to actively jump from one tree to another like their smaller relatives. In any case, these creatures have no fear of heights, so forget about the option of hiding from the huge creature in a tree. Let alone a tree, I don't think one can get away from gorillas at all. Even if you're surrounded by experienced guides and a few other tourists, there's always a chance that a gorilla will grab your leg and drag you away, just like in this video. Fortunately for the woman, the primate was not planning to take her away from people, so the ape just threw her on the ground and let everyone around it realize that arguing with gorillas is a very bad idea. And in general, tourists should leave them alone as soon as possible, or the next time a person can really be dragged somewhere up a tree like a plush toy. Although I'm not sure that the people from the previous story have drawn conclusions, something tells me that they stayed there in the middle of the trees and tall grass to watch the life of gorillas. And all this is due to the fact that people, by their nature, do not understand warnings. Here's another story in which a man was barely left unharmed. While recording some show, the man decided to hold a baby gorilla. The weird thing is that he did it right in front of the older apes. I don't know how much patience they had in them, but they didn't jump on the man, they just spooked him and made him realize that taking someone else's babies is not allowed under any circumstances. Am I the only one who thinks that if the gorilla was in a bad mood it would have left nothing of the man? When I saw its huge teeth and angry face, my heart skipped a beat immediately. In fact, there are quite a lot of such cases during encounters between humans and gorillas, and it's not necessary to touch their babies or just enter their territory. In any case, the ape will want to show and prove that it's the main here. And one of the best ways to do this will be beating the chest. German scientists have found that male gorillas spread their backs and beat their chest to give the opponent information about their real size. Contrary to popular belief, this gesture is not meant to provoke a fight, but to stop it. The scientists analyzed recordings of the sound of blows to the chest, and it turned out the duration and number of blows are not related to the size of males, but the average peak frequency reflects it. The larger the gorilla, the lower the frequency of the sound. Low frequency sounds travel farther than high frequency sounds, which means that a large male can be heard from far away. The smaller ones immediately realize that it's better not to get involved in this conflict and either move back or take their chance in an unequal battle. Believe me, it's much better if a gorilla stands right in front of a human and beats its chest, trying to reason with its opponent and avoid conflict. Sometimes it might beat their head, just like the safety glass in this video. I still don't know what made the king of the primates mad, but I dare say it's all about the people that are annoying it, as usual. The video makes it even more annoying 
The animal lives quietly, doesn't touch anyone and doesn't bother anyone, and it's constantly being watched by various people looking out of these stupid glass domes. I don't think any animal would like that kind of treatment. If the people want to see the gorillas, let them do it respectfully, bring some goodies, spend not too much time in front of them so they can rest before the next visitors. Well, you know what I mean. The gorilla in this video was clearly not happy with what was going on around it. I mean, it's an intelligent creature that's very aware of many things that are going on around it. In this situation, I think the ape saw the people <laughs> laughing at it. Is it pleasant? I don't think anyone in its place would be pleased. So it freaked out, pouncing on the protective glass with such force that it could even leave a crack in it. As the park staff later reported, this gorilla often breaks their glass. Apparently, it thinks that people should at least pay in this way for keeping animals in captivity. Gorillas are powerful and large creatures, but all their strength pales before the real giants, elephants. Let's see what they can do. Pride Lions are the king of the jungle. They are one of the most dangerous creatures in all of Africa and are feared by the entire continent. Even one lion can kill a large and strong opponent, and a whole pride of lions is an invincible force. But not in the case of the elephant. As you can see in this footage, the elephant is surrounded by many lionesses. There are about a dozen of them. It would seem that such numerical superiority guarantees a successful hunt. But no. The elephant managed to cope with such an army of predators and then chased them away from the territory. And here the elephant attacked the lions itself. The lions were eating some carcass and the elephant, being a vegetarian, took that personally. Again, there's a whole pride of hungry and extremely dangerous predators, but look at how they jump up when the elephant approaches. The lions sense the strength in it and see its gigantic size, so they don't dare attack even with such a crowd. The elephant soon retreated back as if to hint that this was only a warning, but it may yet return to finally chase the dangerous cats off. Crocodile Lions are dangerous on land, and crocodiles, of course, are dangerous in water. They are the real kings of African water bodies, and not every animal would dare to enter any pond knowing that there is a toothy predator there. But elephants don't care about anything. This female elephant got into the pond without fear and stood right next to the hungry crocodile. It couldn't resist the huge animal, so it just lay there and waited for the female to leave. But not only did it not leave, it also attacked the crocodile. The elephant grabbed it with its trunk and teeth, tossed it around, and then stomped on it. Judging by the way the crocodile surfaced, it was finished. As you can see, elephants can be quite cruel herbivores. They are no less brutal with other herbivores, including buffaloes. Statistically, this is one of Africa's most dangerous animals. After all, the size of such a bull has to be reckoned with. But for the elephant, it is a ridiculous size. The footage shows an elephant attacking a buffalo because it was sneaking into its territory. Elephants can't stand that. So the giant decided to teach the intruder a lesson. In one fell swoop, the elephant drops the buffalo to the ground where it begins to roll like a roller. With powerful movements, the elephant literally crushes the buffalo and it can't get up again. Buffaloes are clearly not opponents for elephants, but what about larger and more dangerous animals? For example, hippos. If these fat beasts that are considered the most dangerous to humans in Africa, they kill more people than any other large African animal. Hippos are also dangerous to animals, but the elephant disagrees. It's the elephant that's dangerous to hippos. Hippos are very large creatures in their own right, but look how much larger elephants are. All this hippo can do is open its trademark mouth menacingly, but elephants don't care about that. They know this bully won't do anything to them, and the hippo itself seems to understand that. Soon it retreats. And this huge elephant didn't like these hippos, so it frowned and started chasing them away. They were young hippos, but they didn't have to be persuaded for long. They ran away right away. And here the elephant and the baby elephant wanted to wade across the river where the hippos were resting. The hippos attacked the baby elephant, and this enraged the female elephant. It began to poke the hippos with its tusks and squeeze them onto the bank. The hippos had to leave their home reservoir in a hurry just to avoid being crushed by the giant elephant. Rhinos Elephants don't get along with rhinos either. Here the female rhino and its cub were just standing by the water and quenching their thirst. 
but for some reason the elephant didn't like it. Perhaps it was its territory. It came to sort things out and quickly moved into action. In the heat of battle, the baby rhino fell down and was almost crushed, but it was lucky it ran away. Its mother continued to fight, but it was useless. The elephant is much stronger. Eventually, the couple ran away from the water body and the elephant escorted them off, making sure they got far enough away. Here's a similar situation. The elephant immediately moves into action and begins squeezing the female rhino with its tusks. The horned creature couldn't oppose anything to the formidable giant. And here's a one-on-one -on -one fight. The rhino came into elephant's territory and one of them didn't like it. If the elephant had wanted to, it could have finished the rhino off, but it decided only to frighten it. The elephant used its trunk to do its thing, picking up a heavy log off the ground and throwing it at the rhino. The rhino took the hint and left the territory. Generally speaking, the elephant's trunk is an amazing thing. There are about 40,000 separate muscles in it. By comparison, the entire human body has only about 600 muscles. The elephant has a distinct advantage. That's why it can do all sorts of manipulations with its trunk. For example, it can throw logs or uproot trees in anger. But besides that, elephants can also use their trunk to perform very precise manipulations that require fine motor skills. For example, elephants can draw pictures. It's amazing how beautifully they paint, considering the enormous weight of the trunk and the small size of the brush. Elephants can also pick up small objects with their trunks. For example, here an elephant lifted GoPro of a tourist who was riding it. But this isn't the limit. It's believed that the elephant can even lift a match from the ground with its trunk. And here an elephant has decided to clean up the area so it picks up small trash, then puts it in the bin. People have a lot to learn from these big-eared creatures. Elephants can also use their trunks to eat. For example, here an elephant helps itself with its trunk to eat a watermelon. And here, elephants use their trunk to ride people. All in all, an elephant trunk is something versatile. It'd be great if elephants would ride people on their trunks, not only at shows but also in the wild. However, there these animals mostly attack people and can hurt them. Stay tuned to see how it happens. Attack Apparently, the action takes place in India. This elephant is having some sort of parade and is strolling down the street but suddenly goes into a rage. First, it tries to attack two people on the road, but that wasn't enough to blow off steam. The elephant begins to smash bikes and scooters standing on the side of the road. It lifts one of them into the air like a toy bike. And then it's the turn of the car, which the giant literally crushed and destroyed no worse than a hydraulic press. Here it is, the elephant in rage. Once again, we're in India, where some kind of festival is taking place. At first, everything's going well, but suddenly an elephant gets angry. First, it kicked two bikes, and then, like its congener from the previous video, took on the car. With one movement of its trunk, it threw the car as if it weighed like 10 pounds. It's amazing how strong elephants really are. It's a good thing that no drivers were in those cars and bikes. That's not always the case. Let's look at a more serious and frightening case. Here, two guys riding a motorcycle on a road with an elephant standing on it. It's best never to do that. They should have waited out like the other road users because the following happened. The elephant scared the bikers and they fell off. Next, the elephant pushed the bike and startled the guys, then walked away. But not for long. Soon it jumped out of the thicket and attacked one of the guys. Luckily, he survived, but he and the bike were beaten pretty badly. This elephant may like bikes, but it hates cars. It didn't like the gray car, so it decided to give it its own tuning. First, he left a dent on the left fender and broke the wing mirror. Then it worked on the left front wheel, and then it sat on the hood, after which it went over it and broke the windshield. As a final touch, the elephant tore off the front bumper. This is how the elephant thinks a right car should look like. But seriously, this giant once again showed us the power of elephants. In just a few moves, it did a lot of damage to the car. It's hard to imagine what the driver felt, watching all this spectacle right from the car. It's a good thing he ended up driving away and unharmed. And this elephant is even more determined than its congener from the previous video. The video does not start with the beginning of the action because you can see that the car is already damaged. Here we see the pinnacle event. The elephant lifts the car with its powerful trunk and drags it into the bush. Of course, I feel sorry for the owner of the car, but it's still funny to see how he tries to hold the car and 
pull it out of the elephant's trunk. Of course, he failed, but soon the elephant left the car alone. Breakdown Safari is a dangerous activity. Of course, predators are the first thing to watch out for, but the big herbivores should not be underestimated either. Here, a group of tourists encountered several huge elephants on their way. One of them ran out of the thicket and signaled that it was better to leave quickly, but the tourists stayed. This was a fatal mistake. The elephant began ramming the car aggressively. Luckily, the people managed to escape to another group behind, but the car was damaged badly. There was a real breakdown. No road. And finally, another video straight from Africa, which shows that it's better not to approach elephants, even when you're in a car. You can't be sure you're safe. And don't you think that you can quickly slip past the elephant? This sentinel elephant has made it clear that there's no passage on this road, at least not while it's there. At first, it just stood there and wouldn't let the blue car pass. But toward the end, it moved on to its favorite action and started ramming the car. This video stops, but hopefully the people inside are okay. Let's dive into the sea and talk about other mammals, dolphins. These smiling creatures certainly don't hurt anyone, right? Let's find it out. Help? Many people have heard that dolphins are true altruists and heroes from the world of marine fauna. History knows many cases when dolphins came to the aid of people and saved them from dangerous creatures, for example, from sharks. And indeed, it happened in 2007. Dolphins saved the surfer Todd Endress, who was attacked by a shark and bit him on the side and tried to throw him overboard. The dolphins then formed a barrier around the surfer and helped him to shore. There, the man was given first aid and soon recovered. But this case is rather an exception to the rule. Experts believe that, in fact, dolphins almost never help people. Either specially trained individuals demonstrate such heroism, or wild individuals in very rare cases do. For the rest, the dolphins can swim up to the drowning out of curiosity and even allow themselves to be grabbed with hands, but it will not be considered a rescue. Don't forget that dolphins are the animals driven by instinct. Only after making sure that the person is inedible, they leave them. And in the case when a person is drowning, dolphins can hasten the death, playing with the exhausted drowning person. By the way, concerning the cases of help and rescue, scientists believe that the matter here is not good intentions of dolphins, but the banal confrontation between dolphins and other sea inhabitants, in particular sharks. Sharks don't like dolphins and are even afraid of them because dolphins are collective creatures and can kill any toothy predator in a pack. That's why when the sharks see the dolphins, they swim away, and this creates the feeling that the dolphins have saved the man. However, it can hardly be called the conscious help. Okay, let's say dolphins aren't really in the business of saving people, but does that make them horrible creatures? Of course not. After all, that's just one of the dark side of dolphins. The much more unpleasant part is that dolphins not only don't save people, they often hurt people. <laughs> A dolphin can cause a person quite serious injury. There are several known cases when these animals have bitten people while feeding. Most likely, they just mistook the outstretched hand with a live fish, but this is just a guess. The most famous case occurred at SeaWorld Theme Park in Florida. A baby dolphin bit the hand of a baby girl who was feeding it, causing a harmless but unpleasant injury. Eight-year-old Jillian Thomas was standing near her parents feeding a fish to a dolphin at one point, she raised her hand sharply and the dolphin bit her on the forearm. Luckily, it didn't hurt too badly. Jillian was lucky since history knows the cases when dolphin attacks ended up much worse. For example, in 1994, one Brazilian dolphin personally sent 28 people to the hospital during its visit to the beach. In general, dolphins in the sea behave quite aggressively in relation to people. In their native environment, dolphins can easily attack humans. A man in a wetsuit looks like a competitor for a pack of dolphin hunting for the school of fish, so the dolphins can begin to push them away from the prey very rudely. In some cases, dolphins can push the swimmer almost into the open sea. Needless to say that such an attack is very dangerous for the swimmer. But dolphins are dangerous not only to humans or sharks, but also their own relatives. In the 1980s, scientists officially documented male dolphins aggressively harassing fertile females. The gruesome incident was documented in Shark Bay, Australia. According to scientists, the harassment begins when two or three males catch a female. 
The males furiously pounce on their chosen female and don't let it go. If the female tries to escape, the males swim swiftly after it. One of the observed cases of such a case lasted almost an hour and a half. Aggression of males toward females is expressed in stalking, tail bumping, head bumping, hitting and biting. Also, males crash into females with all their might. Females often try to escape, but they manage to do it only in 25% of cases. Mostly, this behavior of male dolphins manifests during the breeding season when there is a fierce fight between them for females. However, harassment can continue even after the mating season. Scientists have confirmed this fact, which makes dolphins not in the best light. That's all, guys. Do you feel differently about dolphins after watching this video? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.